I'm most frightened to death. Sure, after you've done it eight or nine times, you won't even give it a thought. Dot, you look swell. Am I all right? Lovely. Well, there goes the maiden's prayer. I wonder how I'll act. It's like diving overboard. You never know how the water's going to be till you hit it. So nervous. Say, if I could look like you in a wedding gown, I'd be a bigamist. Come on. Say, isn't that girl in the bride's outfit a new model? Well, yes, yeah, she's a sales girl downstairs. We're trying her out. She's got my okay. These guys usually make wisecracks. Don't let it bother you. I know all the answers. Men have been insulting me for years. Say, beautiful. Doing anything tonight? I'm taking my two pet fish out for a drive. There'll be room for another if you'd care to go. Don't talk back to them, you'll get fired. When they deliver bologna at my door, I always give them a receipt. Be too weak to hold you up. <laughs> all men are all alike, rich or poor. When it comes to women, they've only got one idea in their head. Take those fellows out there today. When they didn't try to date you up, you could tell what they were thinking by the way they looked at you. And it isn't only those swell society guys either. Riding the subways during the rush hour, fellas brushing up against you, you know what? Or sit in the theater. Right away, some stranger takes the seat next to you, and that knee business starts. You said it. Don't I know it. Well, I'm off. Good night, Good night. Good night, Kate. After all, I guess nature made men that way. It's their great weakness. And how we women encourage that weakness. Well, I don't. Oh, no, I know you don't, Dot. Well, Miss Haley. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Good night, Dot. Good night. Thank you. I just wanted to tell you how awfully well you did this afternoon. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Thompson. You were marvelous. It's been such a hot day, I thought you might like to take a drive. Oh, I'd just love to, Mr. Thompson, but you see, my husband's a prize fighter. Oh. Yes, and uh, he heard about a fellow here in the store who tried to make a date with me, and he's waiting downstairs now to beat him up. Well, oh. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, when I asked you to take the ride, I had nothing wrong in mind. Oh, no, Mr. Thompson. You see, I never think of things like that. Well, good night. Gee, that. That husband prize fighter gags a pip. I'm going to use that one, too. Don't men ever think of anything else? Well, hardly ever.
What are you looking at the river for, baby? Can't expect anybody, are you? Yeah, my grandfather's swimming in from Europe tonight. I got gotcha. you. Well, when the old guy gets here, give him my best regards. You think you can spare any? Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad, come on. I've got something to show you. What? There's a fellow over here who won't flirt. Oh, there ain't no such animal. On the level. His wife must be watching him. No, he's all alone. A girl can't get a tumble. A girl can't get a tumble? Want a bet a quarter that you can make him speak to you? Yeah. All right, a quarter. The bet's on where is it? Come on. Do you have to do that? I'm singing. I had an aunt once who used to make noises like that. She called it neurology. Neurology must run in your family. Yeah? Well, listen, kid. If you want to prove that something runs in your family, this is the spot. You got a clear deck. I don't know whether I want or not. I'll ask him. Hey, mister. I bet her a quarter she couldn't get you to talk to her. Which one of us wins? Oh. So you're a couple of them smart Janes, huh? No, we're not. But almost every fellow we meet makes a pass at us. Well, my girlfriend here said you wouldn't flirt. I just couldn't believe it. I suppose you think when you pass by, guys just naturally drop dead. No, I don't. Well, if you don't want them to flirt with you, what are you dressed like that for? You wear those clothes for what? To show off the curves of your body. Look at the waist. What cut so low for? Yeah. So some guy can get a knife. And your dress is deliberately made for the wind to blow up over your knees. Listen, sister, if you don't want guys to salute you, take down your flag. You're like all other James. If a guy makes a pass at you, you want to call out the police. And if he don't, you want to call the army. You don't seem like me. I think you're a pain in the neck. Well, my name is Marcy Haley. You ain't kidding me a bit. I like the other fellas. You'd have a new line, that's all. You'll be making a pass at us yet. We'd make a great team with my Audi and your cassette. Well, hello, Edna. Hello there, Jane. How are you? Hey, my sister's over here. Come over, will you? Okay. Come on, baby. Hey, and hey. hey. You Please. Wanna... Please, will you? My noise. Hey. Ain't there any other tune you can almost sing? <laughs> you ain't told me your name. Joe. I used to know a fellow named Joe. He drove a Ford. Did you ever meet him? Well, I might have at that. No. Really? No. The guy I knew drove a Chevrolet and his name was Fred. No. It couldn't have been the same guy. Oh, you're quite a kidder. Yeah, you profess yourself. Just fresh enough. Say, what makes you such a grouch? Jane's like you. You work all day in some store, and then you rush home to sleep at night in some stuffy tenement. And you'll be content to do it for the rest of your life. Because you're just a good time girl. <laughs> 